Here's the former Utah Ute, Matt Gay, to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. Dwayne Eskridge elects to bring it out. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. From the 20, here's second and five. They'll fake it. Now Smith. Throw out wide to Walker. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Smith. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. Well, I liked it. Just take the snap, burrow forward, pick up the few inches you need for a first down. And defensively, I don't think they were expecting that. They looked a little surprised in the middle. Yeah, a little bit wary there, weren't they? Because that can be a throwaway down where maybe you go play action, fake it, and try and get something big. But instead, he said, forget it. Let's just get a first down to start a new set. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Call that a very strong gain of 24. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts. Taking it right down Broadway. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Here's Smith. That's complete to his running back, Dallas. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. From the red zone now, Smith. And he'll get this to his running back, DJ Dallas. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. We're scoreless after one. So play number 10 now coming. It's been a long opening drive, but this is third down. Smith keeps it on the sneak. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. It's been a good drive so far. They just wanted to keep it going, so they call low risk, low reward play. No one's worried about picking up big yardage here. Quarterback sneak, keep the chains moving, and pick up another first down. Now they send a man in motion right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. And he lost six there on the first down play. But as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. 
And he finds Lockett in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Seahawks post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second. And finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chopping at the bit just to get the football. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Off play action, Richardson. Flushed out right. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. First down, points. To the right side, this is Taylor. To the 43, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Richardson now on second down. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. Room to maneuver at the 35. Touchdown, Indianapolis! Michael Pittman. 57 yards. And the Colts are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. On the return, it's Eskridge, and he'll bring it out. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. From the 25, here's second down and three. Dallas up the middle, and this one will go to the 28-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And with very little time left on the play clock, Pete Carroll's going to call timeout as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Play action. It's Smith. Flush to his right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. But prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game. So on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried its dress rehearsal into the game. You know, because you do practice it. You do go through it. And in this case, it is clicked. He's got a man complete. A game there of 30 big ones. Well, he's worked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. It delivers a big play here for this offense. Off of play action, here's Smith. He completes this to Walker. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate 
big plays for an offense. That is taken in by the tight end fan. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 14. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawks touchdown. Noah Finn as the first half is winding down. And the Seahawks have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. A final shot before the half, Richardson. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. A one touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And this taken in at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Now oh, a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Boy, that ball's just hanging up there waiting to be intercepted. That looked doomed from the start, but they took the deep shot anyway, and fortunately, it winds up incomplete. On third down, here's Taylor. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Richardson. And this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. Brings up second down. 
A gift for Taylor running right side. And the result here, the same as the last play. Another tackle behind the line of scrimmage by the Seahawk defense. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game. And this won't help things either. A loss on that play. And this won't be enough. A good, secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. It's a pickup of six, but it's not going to be enough. And the punt team's going to be summoned on fourth down. Richardson on fourth down. Able to find his man, Woods. And he is going to have a Colts first down. They needed three. They got six. Plenty enough for the conversion on fourth. Fourth and two. They got it. That was kind of that gray area. Is that a feel thing, whether you go run or pass there offensively? I think it's a feel thing. It's a tendency thing about what you like to do yourself on offense, as well as knowing how strong they are against the run on defense. And now the rookie's free. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Touchdown, Indianapolis. What an outstanding run by Anthony Richardson. And the Colts are an extra point away from drawing level. So an electrifying run there as he calls his own number and takes it all the way. Brings a new dynamic to this offense, doesn't he? And right now I'm picturing the offensive coordinator, the head coach in their minds, drawing up some more running plays for this guy because he brings some excitement to this offense. And just a young rookie, a lot of electricity yet to come in this career. Here's more. He will return it. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fool them with the inside run. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Smith. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit. A lot of people making plays behind him in the field. On second down, here's Smith. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the 50, it's Smith. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it's going to yield a new set of downs.
Walker now on first and ten. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. 42 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They'll sneak it with Smith, and he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. After the run, Smith going to throw. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. DJ Dallas, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, I mean, this game feels like it has been punch, counter punch all throughout. And that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You talk about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, Oftentimes, it's not a very successful play. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead, a give to Taylor. And this is going to be a Colts first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And Richardson slides down after evading the defense, and he moves the chains. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. This is first and ten. Throw left side complete. That's McKenzie. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Here comes second down. Richardson. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That one checks all the boxes, doesn't it? You get the first down, check. Get out of bounds, stop the clock, check. 
Well, how about one last check? Keep your quarterback from getting hit. That's a big check. Yeah, check there as well. Good call. All three timeouts still in their back pocket. Here's first and ten. Here's Richardson. And incomplete. A drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion... And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. And he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as it kicks away here. From the end zone, here comes Eskridge. And he returns this to the 22. They'll come up first and 10 here. Here's Smith. He lets it fly for Lockett. And got his man complete. And he will get out of bounds here as well. What a play. Big yardage. They stop the clock. And they move it to the boundary of field goal range as well. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and 10 now. They'll run on first down with Dallas. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Smith. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Throw incomplete as well. Fourth down now and defensively. Charles, you know, they're just asking this crew for one more stop. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over-exuberant, over-excited, and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And they'll be celebrating in Pioneer Square tonight. The Seahawks have won the game. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did. And just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.